What is going on my storm chasing family? It is storm chaser Chad here and today I just wanted to kind of go over uh, a little bit about the December 10th, December 11th tornado outbreak that uh, really kind of threw a lot of people by surprise being the uh, outbreak being in December of course um, and to kind of go through a little bit of the difference between the tri-state tornado and now the quad state tornado and kind of go over just a little bit uh, about what uh, the current update is with the tornado count and all of that in this video still uh, I want to say uh, I give my thoughts and prayers to everybody that have been affected by this storm uh, or this tornado outbreak to be honest with you and uh, just um, <clears throat> literally go over um, just what I know as of right now um, there is uh, the National Weather Service has called in a specialty team that uh, consists of Tim Marshall who is a, um, a an American structural and forensic engineer um, who's also a, a meteorologist and um, he basically does uh, damage analysis from you know devastating tornadoes and even into uh, hurricanes as well he's one of those that um, they really kind of um, go to when it comes to high-end tornadoes um, because as of right now the uh, Mayfield uh, Kentucky tornado has been classified as of at, at this time just as an EF3 from what they have determined but they are calling in specialist uh, Tim Marshall um, to and of course a couple of other gentlemen uh, I'm not too uh, sure on their names as of right now but uh, they have called in a team to analyze and so help survey to get a better uh, determination as far as the strength of the tornado and a classification of a potentially an EF4 or EF5 um, but as of right now from what they have determined it is uh, uh, classified as a EF3 um, but still have not heard of any word as far as you know if it has been upgraded or not uh, so far there has been confirmed EF3s there has been five EF3 ratings uh, 10 EF2 eight EF1 and three EF zeros that have been confirmed as of right now but there's still lots and lots and lots of um, surveying to be done and upgrades to classification as far as if there has been strengthening of tornadoes uh, or not but um, as of right now there that's these there's 26 confirmed tornadoes with you know the like i said the potential for more to have uh, to develop um but uh the tri-state tornado uh tracked over um i believe 219 miles but the quad state tornado um as of right now just in kentucky alone it, there has been a confirmed 128 mile long track uh, of course, uh, National Weather Service in Memphis and a couple others are going to have to determine if the the track stayed continuous through their coverage area. Um, but as of right now, it is, you know, uh, 128 miles long uh, just in Kentucky that hit, you know, Mayfield, Bowling Point, uh, Dawson Springs, um, and of course, a couple other towns. But um, as of right now, that is what um, the National Weather Service has confirmed, at least uh, that it's been 128 miles so far. But with that being said, um, I have to give major praises to the National Weather Service on their prediction. Um, they have done an outstanding job in predicting the, the, the outbreak of it. Um, and also, you know, giving props, major props to the uh, the news channels in their coverage throughout the entire tornado event. Um, it just goes to show that, you know, 
tornadoes can happen any time of the year, any time of the day. And that's why we stress the importance of taking, you know, extra precaution uh, when it comes to, you know, these these kinds of events. So um, I'm just uh, I'm still still in shock. Um, I, I even uh, remember calling Mark right around 4:30 ish uh, when the severe thunderstorm or the uh, storm started just to the east of Little Rock and um, that uh, you know I told him about hey you know if you want to chase this is this could be the big one um, let alone did I not know that that was the very very start of what is now the quad state tornado that um, tracked for you know several hours throughout the night and into the next day and um, that um, it, it really blows my mind as far as you know that's you know what it started as and um, just something about it from the very get-go with the environment that it was you know going into you just knew something potentially was going to um, you know hit so um, what started out in Arkansas went into Missouri into Tennessee and Kentucky um, really just um, a lot of devastation um, many lives lost uh, I think the last that I heard was you know it was up to 74 confirmed uh, fatalities with many many injuries of course um, sadly there was um, a loss of a uh, a two-month-old I believe um, I was following that from the get-go when um, that uh, it's it hits home because I, I know I have two children of my own and uh, I know they they're they're up in age a little bit but um, just to know that there has been you know a a a baby that has been lost in this is just uh, it's it's heartbreaking uh, being a father but um, anyway guys just um, please continue your thoughts and prayers uh, still there's a, an update to be coming later on um, with more of a update as far as the EF ratings in the Mayfield, the Bowling Green, and uh, Dawson Springs, which um, may be until next week, could be later this week. Um, we just, we were, they're still surveying. They're still, you know, taking their due diligence with this and they have every right to, um, you just don't want to throw out an EF5 rating um, just willy nilly, because like I said, I think the last uh, EF5 rating was um, quite a long time ago, and um, it's just something you don't really, you know, throw out there with any tornado, just because the the community wants a, a high rating for a tornado. Um, yeah, some of the devastate the the destruction could be, you know, classified as you know EF5, but um, that's why. The National Weather Service has called in specialists to come in and uh, really go over everything in depth to make sure that um, the rating is appropriate for um, this time. So um, I just it's um, it's a tough ordeal. I know I've been blabbing on for a while now, but um, it's uh, it's just seeing these pictures still is you know heartbreaking and um especially coming at night time well into early morning that um it just goes to show tornadoes happen anytime and when a warning is issued you have to take uh all of them serious you know you can't just uh, assume that oh well i was in a tornado warning but nothing happened this is the same exact thing um anytime there is a warning it needs to be taken serious so anyway guys and girls um i've been blabbing on long enough i hope you all have a blessed day a blessed week and um i will see y'all in the next video with more updates from this tornado outbreak and hopefully have a final count as far as uh total tornadoes confirmed uh, a more update on ratings of the uh, long track quad state tornado but um as it sits right now that um 
still not looking good, but um, they have professionals there that are doing their due diligence, and we'll just have to wait to see what they say. Y'all take care. God bless. Love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video.